Alit in 10, discussion with Lisa M. Kendrick, and of Clay Are We Created by Isabel Allende. Isabel Allende had become a respected magazine and television journalist in her native Chile. But in 1973, Allende's uncle Salvador, the president of Chile, was assassinated. A military government seized control and a period of terror and violence began. Allende's family went into exile, moving to Venezuela and later moving to the United States. She found it hard to get work as a journalist and turned to creative writing in 1981. On November 13, 1985, the Nevado del Ruiz volcano in Colombia erupted. The intense heat from the eruption melted the mountain's ice cap and sent a torrent of water, ash, mud, and rocks onto the town of Armero. Roads and bridges had been damaged, and few helicopters were available during those first 48 hours, so most victims could not be transported to hospital care. In all, over 20,000 people died. Author's perspective colors this piece. Although the reader is reading the thoughts of the narrator, Isabella Allende is relating events that happened to her boyfriend, Rolf Carl. Because of this, the reader witnesses a dual perspective, the emotion of a narrator and the slightly filtered emotions of both Rolf Carl and the girl Azucena, who is entombed in mud. Rolf is one of the first reporters to arrive at the scene. He begins filming rescuers trying to reach a girl covered in mud up to her neck. Rolf is paid, of course, to report on the disaster and to help viewers understand the events, but he gets distracted when he finds 13-year-old Azucena and he realizes the rescuers can't pull her out of the clay because she's trapped by the rubble and by the bodies of her brothers and sisters clinging to her legs under the mud. From the beginning, Azucena believes that she will die there. She has accepted that she is expendable because there's a history of her people not receiving assistance when needed because they are poor. Readers quickly learn that Roth is strong, supportive, caring, and optimistic, but he is also an uninformed about women and girls. He's used to getting his way and being heard. He believes that no matter what, he'll get a pump and save her. Because the disaster was so terrible and resources are so limited, the narrator and Rolf try everything to get a water pump in time to save Azucena. Rolf stays by her side for three days, trying to calm and save her. In the end, a water pump does finally arrive, but it comes only a few hours after Azucena has died. During this disaster, the narrator watches Roth lose what he is famous for, his objectivity. She uses this to criticize the way the media manages to get the technical resources it needs, while the victims of a disaster cannot. She is critical of the media exploiting the victims of a tragedy, distributing images of them without helping them at all, shining bright lights and a camera on them, and then watching them die. When comforting Azucena, Rolf remembers whippings from his father, his fear of the dark when he was locked inside an armoire as punishment, his love for his handicapped sister Katharina, and burying the dead in a concentration camp. Rolf has been trapped with his memories and he has used the lens of a camera to distance himself from life. He believes that by saving Azucena, he can save himself. Because of this disaster, Rolf became emotionally involved with the fate of a disaster victim and tried everything to save her. In the process, he stopped being an objective reporter as he faced his own dark memories of concentration camps and losing his sister. Azucena's death frees not only Azucena, but also Rolf from pain and suffering. They were joined in a spiritual connection. This selection suggests that media objectivity is cruel. The media offers no real assistance to suffering people. Although trained as a journalist, it seems that Alinde does not value objectivity. She seems to value caring, compassion, involvement, and real assistance more. Roth becomes a more noble character as he abandons his role as a reporter and changes to comfort Azucena. 
Thanks for stopping by. Nothing enhances cognitive abilities, increases vocabulary, or expands horizons more than reading. Be sure to check out my other videos in this Lit in 10 discussion series.